everybody welcome back to another one of my videos my name's Steph um, today's video is just going to be a very simple show you how to make chocolate bunnies and eggs um, if you're like us Easter's not going to be quite the same as it normally is getting mini eggs and stuff like that is just not easy or completely impossible anyway I've had some of this chocolate in my cupboard for a little while um, from Tesco it's only 39p um, and I've had this mould for quite a few years, so, but, oh, it might come in handy. Um, I have some sprinkles. I also had in my cupboard some little chickens, which I found. <laughs> it's amazing what you can find. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I've, in this one, I have some milk, I have dark, and I have white chocolate. I'm going to melt them over me pans, boiling water. Um, and then I'm just going to pour them into my mould. Okay, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Sip it over pots of water. Okay, just so the bottom of the um, bowl is in the water. Don't fill the pan up too high with water. And then I'm just going to melt them. Okay, melting. Right, while the chocolate's melting, I'm going to Put some sprinkles and stuff inside my molds um, before I put the chocolate in it makes it easier a little you can have less plain chocolate if you want but I think the kids will prefer if they're a little bit more elaborate so I'm going to put some sprinkles into my mold I'm going to fill some with cotton candy they like that because they've been in the cupboard for a while too um, and I'm just gonna sink it into so they get like popping candy chocolate. Yep. Like that. And then I'm gonna put my chocolate in. As you can see, I filled my moulds up with some sprinkles. In this one I've put like bowls, this one's just got pretty sprinkles and this one you saw me put um, popping candy. So now I'm just waiting for the chocolate to melt and then um, you can we can fill it up. Melt the chocolate, as you see, do not get any water into your chocolate because otherwise you'd completely ruin the chocolate. So be very careful when you're stirring it. Don't fill your saucepans up too high with water either. Just needs a piece a bit on the bottom. Like that. As you can see. So the bowl just sits in it. Alright. Just stir it until it's melted. This one is nearly done. One's not far off done either. It's got a bit a few lumps in it. And this one's this is the dark chocolate it seems to be taking a little bit long. Okay. Now in each of these pans was only one bar because the mould ain't particularly big. Um so you can always re melt it. This one's look like it's practically done. So I'm gonna do the milk chocolate ones first. And see, it's got a couple of lumps in it. And see how many I can get in the mould. Make sure it's got no lumps in it. Just makes Put it in the mould. Put it in these molds just makes it a bit more Easter rather than just giving them a plain bowl of chocolate. Because we say Easter's not the same as it usually is. With the quarantine in stacking drawers. Okay. This looks like it's done now. I've got my chocolate, I've got my mould. Just going to chocolate on me spoon just fill up the mold and you ain't got to fill them all fill them up completely if you don't want it 
Hold up. Makes your chocolate go flat. Okay, I'm gonna see how many more I can get out of this milk chocolate, and then I'll do that one. The milk chocolate one filled up three of my oh, not three filled up six of my uh, um, little Easter eggs. Filled up. so now I'm gonna put the white chocolate. I'm gonna put white chocolate on the Easter bunnies because I think they look quite cute in white chocolate, and then I'm gonna put them in the fridge and let them cool. Um, I've still got the dark chocolate, so I'm going to make these ones and then I'm going to make some more and hopefully the kids will like them. White chocolate ones, I'm going to put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes or so um, and then we'll see what they come out like. Hopefully they will come out good. If not, never mind. <laughs> I think we've eaten nothing going They down. seem to be done. I've got a bit of grease proof out so I can get me bunnies and out and uh, what I'm going to do now is just push them out and hopefully it would have worked. Yeah, that's what we used to do when you're holding a camera. It, yeah, da da! This one. Remember these ones are the ones with um, popping candy in. Oh look, isn't he cute? These are ones I put balls in, oh they look quite nice too. Let's see if I can get out a different colour bunny. Pink bunny. Well, some of these wrinkles will come off, but that's why I put it on grease proof. Yes! I'll get the rest of them out and then we'll right, we'll take them out of their um, mould. So I've had one that's um, not worked. I've got a bunny that's got no head, but the rest of them are all pretty good. So I'm going to use these to decorate me cupcakes that I'm making and uh, give the kids a little surprise for Easter. Right, this is what I've made. Nice mixture of chocolate, different flavourings in the middle, and sprinkles. I hope the kids will enjoy them tomorrow. You all have a good Easter. Bye, everybody. Boy, 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 boy. Stay safe, boy.